Welcome back to Moose on the Loose. My name's David. Today, it's 3.20 in the morning. I've uploaded 17 clips and nothing will go online because that's how this works around here. Justin Trudeau has bought an apartment in New York City for $9 million. This is the guy who says affordable housing, affordable housing, affordable housing, the whole situation, right? He spent our tax dollars on an apartment in New York City for $9 million. Now, it's not for himself. Uh, we got a report here. We'll bring this up. So we'll let this play first and then we'll talk about it. It's been revealed Ottawa splashed out on some new digs in New York recently, spending $9 million to buy a lavish condo in an area known as Billionaire's Row. The extravagant apartment in the Big Apple will be the official residence for Canada's Consulate General Tom Clark. Our Mackenzie Gray has been watching this story closely for us. Mackenzie, what more do we know? The Liberals have staked a lot of political capital talking about housing Nithu, but this kind of home isn't what they want to discuss. It's one of the most posh addresses on earth, 111th West 57th Street in New York City. With views of Central Park, it's located in what real estate agents call Billionaire's Row. It's a brand, right? It's like a Birkin bag. You don't even have to say where it is, you just say the number. And now Condo 11A in that building is owned by the Canadian government to house the Canadian Consul General in New York City. 3,600 square feet, three beds, four bath, building amenities like an indoor pool and Padel Court, the sale price, nearly 9 million Canadian, according to the New York Post. Welcome back. Well, it is a whole new world, at least politically speaking. And the man who gets to live there, Trump former Trump Global News and CTV journalist Tom Clark. Well, hi, everybody. Now the Consul General. Something to note there, former CTV host. This is the same CTV that receives government funding from the government, from Justin Trudeau and the Liberals. A position he was appointed to in 2023. So people might wonder, what does the Consul General of Canada to New York actually do all the time? Great question. Well, Governor Shapiro. Well, Global Affairs says Clark hosts networking receptions, official briefings, and hospitality events such as discussions with business and political leaders and needs a nicer residence to continue to do it. Hospitality, business meetings... Do we really need to spend $9 million on this? We all know the answer is no, we don't. Gak believes the home currently used by Clark, which was last renovated in 1982, doesn't meet New York building code and requires significant investment to modernize the property, leading Gak to recommend relocation to a new, smaller, more suitable, and more economical apartment. No, An argument well, um, the Conservatives aren't buying. And these kinds of purchases fly directly in the face of a government that says that it's concerned with Canadians with our cost of living. Despite spending nearly $9 million, Global Affairs says the move will actually save taxpayers cash. They estimate the cost of the renovations on the previous residence is $2 million more than living on billionaires row, Nithu. No word on what will happen with that old property. All right, Mackenzie Gray in Ottawa tonight. Thanks, Mackenzie. How about they don't have a property in Billionaire's Row? Maybe that's the solution, right? Maybe we just have a property somewhere not around there, somewhere where it's much cheaper, so it's not a waste of our money. Or they can just use Zoom. Do they really need to have meetings there? Pretty uh, sweet, sweet deal for uh, Tom Clark here. So Tom Clark, let's bring him up, former CTV uh, uh, host, Great deal for him. He gets to live in a $9 million place in downtown New York in Billionaire's Row. No comment. It's 3.30 in the morning. No comment. Um, so yeah, after this clip here, I'm going to try to put a few other clips. If you don't see any, that means I've deleted all the other ones and I've just put in my outro because this is absolutely breaking me. This is not a free speech platform. Well, that's where we're going to wrap up this episode. I have made three episodes tonight, and this is the third one. I've actually taken my first two, and I've edited them down into smaller sections, removing things, and here we are. Thanks for watching the end of the video here. Let's uh, pray for a miracle here. Going forward, I think I'll just have to take these one-off topics that are very clean and make 20 of these, because I think it takes 20 to change the... Uh, the trust in the system. I think that's how that works because I didn't have this problem before. And if you look at all the other creators, they don't obviously have this problem because they're putting 20 clips in each video or whatever and they don't have this problem. So it's just me. YouTube really likes me. 
Be sure to subscribe to the channel and subscribe to my other channel because that is very important at this point because I don't have those problems on that channel. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.